The city's top health official is stepping down tomorrow after guiding the city through most of the pandemic. Dr. Dave Chocksky was named city health commissioner in August of 2020. In a story you saw first on two, I sat down with him for a candid conversation about answering his calling. You navigated the city through arguably the worst public health crisis in our generation. What kind of pressure did you feel stepping into this role at the height of the pandemic? I felt a lot of pressure, to be uh, perfectly honest, um, because uh, there was so much uh, that was on our shoulders. But every day, you know, I strove to be worthy of the role that I was in as the health commissioner for the city during uh, during what I hope will be a once-in-a-lifetime pandemic. Chocksky hit the ground running, working 90 to 100-hour weeks on top of his daily press briefings. He says he couldn't possibly have done it alone. Your wife's a public school teacher. You have a toddler. Your family got COVID. That's public knowledge. How, how hard was this as a family, not only to get through the pandemic, but for your wife to support you? This, this had to be exhausting for her as well. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm just so grateful to her. Um, and, and yes, it, it has definitely taken a toll. Um, but it's her, it's her strength. It's the strength of our, uh, of her parents. You know, my mother-in-law is uh, our primary child care for my daughter. Um, but what we went through, you know, as tough as it was, um, I always keep in mind that it pales in comparison to what so many other families, you know, went through as well. A huge amount of suffering and trauma and grief. And for me, it was such a powerful reminder of what that felt like, um, you know, for so many people. So that was also motivation, you know, in its own way to make sure that we're talking about it, not in a clinical, you know, like the, the physical health um, of how the virus affects the body, but also how it affects the mind. Did it make you better at your job having gone through it? It did. It made me better at my job. And frankly, it made me a better husband and father as well. You know, there's, we, we spent uh, almost two weeks in isolation, you know, together. And um, it allowed me to reconnect with them. What were some of the things you faced that were the most frustrating over the last couple of years? Yeah, you know, uh, the, um, the degree uh, to which um, polarization in our dialogue, you know, the public dialogue, uh, and the degree to which misinformation is able to take root um, is deeply concerning to me. We are seeing the, uh, the echoes, you know, the long um, shadows of racism in our society. Um, this is not about individual racist behavior. This is about racism as a set of policies that make it so that uh, people are less likely to have access to quality health care, but also less likely to have access to affordable housing and quality education and nutritious food, uh, all of which predispose people to um, to illness. Under Choksi's leadership, 77% of all New Yorkers are fully vaccinated, a point of pride for the otherwise humble public servant. I think the things that I'll be proudest of are uh, our legacy with the vaccination campaign. Um, you know, the, uh, the amount of tragedy and the health crises that were averted because of that. Um, that is something that uh, that the health department, you know, and so many healthcare workers, all of the people who were vaccinating, nurses and pharmacists, et cetera, um, they deserve, you know, all of the credit for making that happen. Uh, and then, you know, the other thing that um, uh, that I think, you know, should be associated with the health department during this period is. Uh, our focus on being uh, on the ground in communities, which actually requires a great deal of humility, whether it was about getting the word out about testing um, or uh, about distributing masks uh, or about vaccination. Uh, and that's something that I hope will live on beyond the pandemic as well, you know, because um, we have seen the ways in which bringing health to the people, meeting people where they are, is fundamentally the best way to um, to change health outcomes. Is the city better equipped to handle another pandemic in the future? Should one 
arise? Um, yes, I believe it is. Is it as prepared as we could be? Uh, no, and that's up to us in this moment. Chokski says it is crucial for the city to invest in public health infrastructure. What advice do you have for your successor? The advice that I have for him is to um, is to follow his core values and his convictions. You know, for all the the credentials that we have as doctors, it was much more my convictions than my credentials uh, that I relied upon during this crisis. I'm doing this very deliberately, you know, in terms of having a chance to uh, to replenish. Uh, I, everyone over the past two years has gone through some degree of trauma, and I hope at least some people will, you know, find an example or some inspiration in the idea that we need to carve out the space, you know, for us to heal in the way that's right for each of us. Mayor Adams has named Dr. Ashwin Vasan, a primary care physician and mental health expert from Columbia, as the city's next health commissioner. He starts on Wednesday.